very directed questions, I would think. That's very specific. Why the woman's gown? <laughs> <laughs> Not that directed question. Okay. How the woman's gown? <laughs> Not that
think that they've got a better deal on it. It's off the table. This has been taped, yes. Probably. I have that problem right along with you. Mm. So I don't think we're worried we'll about that. We'll just keep going, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, see, let's ask a few more questions, because I just sort of rave on. I'll show you a bit like into focus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Anna, you talk about how it seemed like for you at the beginning. <laughs> I mean, what made you why think that you it would be a good idea to come back? I mean, why, mm -hmm. why did you want to, what, why did the idea attract you? Um, when you had this sterling cleaning business in Amsterdam <laughs> <laughs> on your way to becoming an entrepreneur. Yeah. I don't know, it's just something that I've thought about for a long time, I guess. Since um, since I first got involved with the Women Artists Group in Christchurch and since the CSA. And I don't know, it's just been a build up of, of knowing a lot of women who were making things in different ways and who were sort of forming an informal network with one another. And um, the Seasons Diaries thing and the show that's us doesn't really and I did that thing you said about not seeing that word represented it. And the thing of being involved constantly in sort of one-off shows where you, you hire some building and then that goes back at the end. And, I don't know, and reading things, reading things about the women's building in America and stuff. I don't know, it just seemed like a really good idea. It's something that I'd always thought that if I ever inherited all one sort of large amounts of money, it would be something I would do. And, um, so you so came raising back why from not? Yeah, it is. How long ago? Um, I'm not sure, about two months. I know, it was really strange because I just, I mean, I just arrived and came down to Wellington and, um, God, I wish this person would stop stopping <laughs> behind my head there. And sort of we were right into it the next day. We didn't have a building, did we? We got the building about three days later. Yeah. And from then on, and to start with, before I got the cupboard, I was, I was staying with Miriam too, so we never really stopped. And we sort of start in the morning and keep going until we went to sleep. And it was really strange. Yeah. No time for jet lag. <laughs> well, no I time. had it, but I didn't sort of, apart from crashing people's cars and things, I sort of. I actually got jet lagged after I'd been back about a month rather than when I first came. I think that was when it hit me, but hold on, I'm back. Yeah. Yeah. So you came back and you had already found this building there? I think so. There was, there was yes, another space, had... wasn't there, that was a possibility? No, that was, that was when we had the hassle with the Arts Council and the Arts Council said that, that they thought we were really silly taking on the building at the same time. Oh, that's right. And kept saying that, you know, not only did we have to create this, this ambient space, which is where we got this appalling word from, but that we had to pull off an exhibition which, which just wasn't good, it was, you know, superb. And, and we still don't know whether they thought it was just not good or no. it was superb, and that, that really pisses me off. You mean they're not saying? They're not saying. I mean, James came in and I asked him about how he thought about the show, and he just wasn't interested in talking. They keep talking about the space. There, you know, how nice how the space yummy the space is. Yes. <laughs> so the but exhibition which they paid for, they're saying nothing about, and the space which they didn't pay for, they're they're very, 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 very keen to be pleased with. Yes. But they, for a while, they were sort of they they told us that we wouldn't pull it off, and, and I got a bit freaked by it. And Brady, I think, got a bit freaked by it, and, and they were suggesting that that we try and hire the city gallery around the corner instead. And, but we sort of had the whole lease strapped up by that stage, so we didn't. But then we just had an amazing amount of work on the building because it was all pink and blue and it had tiny little rooms and there was lino that was all rotted and smelling and there was the leak, which we still got, and no lighting, it was still thing. And And of course it happened. I mean, I found it most exciting every night to sit down and watch what had been happening during the day. Because, you know, and, and the vision that you had of us all, and the building being changed, and picking up on the shadows and the silhouettes, yeah. and the enormous it's excitement of, of seeing that that you were extending yourselves and we were becoming part of your video and the video was becoming part of us was, was wonderful. But, you know, perhaps talk a little bit about how you felt about the... Maybe I'm... Sitting in front of the camera. Yeah, I'll swap. There you are. Okay. Can you? Yeah, I can do something. How do I do it? Well, wait. Let me put it on Anna. <laughs> How about we practice on Anna? Yeah. Now, it's focused, so you don't need to touch this. Um, yeah, you don't need to touch this one. No. And 
you don't need to touch that one. No. So you only need to work the zoom. Yeah. yeah. And, and the zoom to the will take it out and in. But you don't want to go out like that. Good. You want so to loosen this yeah. so that you can move your camera to keep it in frame as you go out. Right. See, which you might want to do if you want two of us in the picture. Right. And you'll find that that's a little jerky. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I won't be very expert, but at least you'll be there. Now it's my turn to go back. <laughs> and what were we talking about? Right, we're talking about how you felt about the suggestion that the Open Community Video board from the pen didn't have to yell in the real world. The suggestion the Open Community Video didn't go in the catalogue, which made me really angry. Hello. Oh. Oh, God. Ah, well, right. Okay, well, I was at that point just beginning very tentatively. Actually, I'd rather not, Julia. It's okay. Um, just, just tentatively beginning to feel accepted on the same level as everyone else was there. Right. Which, you know, for the matter of not having an argument, we'll call artists. Mm. Um, and I'd also been sick, which made me more vulnerable mm. emotionally. And I was really hurt. Um, because I felt as if uh, that this tentative new identification had suddenly been um, negated. Like all your various to document someone else's process. Like, mm. like you're a recorder. You're the way you must have felt, too. Yeah, yeah the same way as being engaged like, yeah. as an organizer. You know, yeah. not being part of it, but rather just, just a service. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, to get cups of tea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get cups of tea and do the documentation, and that was where you ended. Yeah, that's right. And I couldn't, at that point, I couldn't handle it uh, to directly confront Juliet uh, about it because I was feeling too fragile, too, you know. Yeah. I get that word, I'm sick of it enough anyway. Yeah. Um, so I approached Miriam you know, and, yeah. and talked about it. Yeah. Um, I think it was just something that everyone else felt sort of really, we just felt really strongly that that was that was part of the reason for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. thing well, Marion was really positive. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. But you see, uh, not knowing the women and not ever having had any, talk, any discussion about this, I didn't know how the other women felt right. either. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and, yeah. And also, I was feeling um, vulnerable because I didn't know who was a lesbian and who wasn't, and what assumptions were being made. Uh, so I felt as if uh, I was really feeling my way, very delicately to find out how people mm -hmm. felt. Suddenly well, someone had dropped this bomb on you. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why was it important yeah. to you, Nancy, to find out who was a lesbian and who wasn't? Um, do you want to answer the question? <laughs> I do. I think it's important yeah. that we say something about today. it. Yeah, and then besides which, you put a new idea about it in my mind, talking about it in the office just now. Um, it was Im important because, basically, I think we do have a different set of us. I'm assuming, on, uh, and I think most lesbians assume, that we have a different set of assumptions from heterosexual women. Even in um, a, a, a Because of the politics. Um, and our lifestyle that, um, and I've seen myself change from heterosexual to lesbian yes. through this process, um, that there are ways that we would, that we affirm a lesbian identity that uh, could be misunderstood. Like for instance, there was at one point, um, everyone was uh, out of the room except Heather and Ali and me. And Ali made some remark about another woman being attractive. Uh, and I said to her, oh, now I feel at home. Um, and I actually would have liked to discuss that with Ali and Heather at that point. Mm. Um, and so I said, uh, it seems important to say things like that even though we don't mean them. In other words, like nobody's going to go and make a pass mm. with a woman that they mm. think is attractive. Yeah. But it was an affirmation uh, to say that. And I found that things like that are misunderstood. Uh, because 
it seems to tie in very much with our lesbian identity as a sexual identity. And it does and it doesn't to a lesbian. It's seen in a multi-dimensional way by a lesbian. Um, yeah. Or by most lesbians, not all lesbians. Yes. Uh, but it is seen only in a sexual way, usually, by heterosexual women. Now see, but, but in the mm. office, in the office, mm. something that was happening there, yeah. to me, was that suddenly I thought, that I'm assuming that everyone has all these assumptions. And I'm pussyfooting around you. And you're assuming that I have a lot of things and you're pussyfooting around me. Mm. Uh, and that maybe the tension that I was feeling, mm. that I always feel goes on between mm. lesbian and heterosexual mm. women, um, was there for different reasons than I had been assuming mm. it was there for. What sorts of and reasons? And that most lesbians assume that it's Or that it's two-way, like we were all, um in at Marion's house on what day was it? You know, the day we were all just sort of sitting around in the living room, and I felt that there was an incredible amount of tension there, and that was it was that sort of being dissipated. The mooching Sunday day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the only mooching day. day. It was such a relief. Mooch. I really wanted to. But like, there was, it seemed to me that there was. Well, I thought I was picking up all this tension, which yeah. I then decided yeah. was just me. No, but it was no, also no, the, no, there was no, a lot of tension. was the feeling that you might have thought that I wasn't being helpful and kind because I felt like I was falling over backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, suddenly I've been told I've been oppressed. <laughs> and yeah. part of my feeling is how can, how can I be oppressive? I, well, live, I live in your world all the time. Mm. Uh, and, even, and I felt like if I even want a little bit of space <laughs> to be a lesbian, I'm oppressing you. Yeah. That's hard. Mm. It was hard. <laughs> it was also very, very, very much like the thing of me and Anna being a bit out of it because we were organising it. It turned into something feeling a bit out of it because we were heterosexual. And I don't think this is, this is why. Or neither. Or I'm sorry. Or I'm excited. I just end up feeling very defensive about all sorts of things. I and I was very sad we didn't talk about it. Can we fix the camera? We can, but it'll be wide. <laughs> well, that's my point of view, Do you want to be here? No, yeah. no, no. no, 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 no. I'm enjoying doing this. Part. Yeah, there you are. Yes, yes. <laughs> you, you should be over there. You're very good at being artiste. Give Anna a turn. I don't, I'm sorry, no, I feel this. It's well, unfair really. that I should be the only one here on the camera who's talking about this. Oh, okay. All right, let's fix that. All you do is, is it? just... The only thing you need to turn anyway is, is, well, is hold that... On. You've got to come show me what more of this. Right, that's, that's the zoom. That is well, what does the zoom do? It moves the shower. To the shower. Yeah, I'm still conscious of the thing of the kids being about and being vaguely anxious about the kids all the time. You were very sensitive about our joke about the nuclear family fridge. I thought it was terribly funny. I mean, I like that I sort of joke. Funny. Yes. <laughs> and, and that was you one joke that I thought react, or, or maybe Ali made it look as if you react sensitively, because I think... I mean, I, I thought it was a joke that could be extended. And it was interesting because we were talking about nuclear family fridge in a situation that wasn't quite a nuclear family situation because we were all staying there. And I was well aware that Ali hadn't, I mean, by the time Ali let us know that she hadn't been with a heterosexual women, and she certainly hadn't been staying in a house with a man for years. I hadn't really quite picked on that one, I think. And that you perhaps found it easier because you had more contact with men. I found it very hard to sort of imagine how that felt. And how difficult, I mean, I think it was difficult for you with Bill sometimes, wasn't it? Every so often I became aware that, in fact, you know, you just wanted to sort of, well, you know, you should to go away. I was, I was trying so go away hard. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying that. so I was, hard not to I know you were. And, and I he was trying so hard. He was trying so hard. So nice. And he'd done so much for the gallery. I mean, he's, he'd done a lot of work with the setting up and the building and so on. And yes. he was there making Kerry's print. One thing I would like to say to the camera directly is I was extremely upset that no woman helped Kerry who came up from the West Coast, was only here for a week to make her print. She had to make it on her